When you pick up a badminton racket with almost no knowledge of how to play, it's normal to just swing your arm wherever the shuttle goes and hope for the best. And since badminton is so insignificant in Australia, I think it's very normal to look like this and think that badminton is played this way. But I see this as a problem and want to help fix it because not only does it look a bit funny, it's very easy to fall over and injure yourself. Room 21, 10, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you, oh I want I had a look at what videos are out there for learning footwork and I would suggest watching these videos. I'll put the links in the description below. Most videos on YouTube teach footwork for singles and it is better to start by learning singles footwork because it means that you learn how to cover more area on the court. But when you play doubles, you need to modify your movements. So I'm going to explain the basics of footwork and how doubles footwork is different from singles footwork. In both singles and doubles, there are six corners that we move our feet to to hit the shuttle. And how we move there depends on how the shuttle flies towards you. The first important thing we need to understand is movement. There are three different ways that we move our feet on court. The first way is to run or step and we do this so that we move faster. It's faster because you're only really lifting one side of your body and the rest just follows. So it uses less energy. The second way is to shuffle or skip and we do this to recenter ourselves. It uses more energy because you're lifting your whole body, but it can still be fast because it's a more stable movement. It helps stabilize your body before doing a big movement, like a jump or a wide lunge. And jumping is the third way to move. We do this to have more power, but we only have a jump right before we swing and hit the shuttle because it takes a lot of energy out of you and you need time to recover and stabilize yourself. So here's a basic demonstration for how these movements come together in your footwork. For the front and side corners, I mostly run or step into the corners and then skip back to the center. And always make sure that you point your toes in the direction that you're moving. For the back corners, it's actually reversed. So you skip into the corners and try to jump for your swing to add power and then run back to the center. Because I'm a doubles player, we also don't turn our backs to the back corner on the backhand side unless it's an emergency. Instead, we keep our body facing front. As an example of how your footwork can improve, here are some clips comparing my footwork from two years ago versus one year ago. It's definitely something I still work on improving all the time, but I found that my speed, power, and skill all improved as a result of better footwork and knowing how to move efficiently. I hope this video helps you and motivates you to pay more attention to your footwork. Thanks for watching and for all your support. I really appreciate all the comments that you guys post on my videos. So I'm going to go exercise now and practice my footwork. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!